Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Hope you're having a great day so far. I uh, Morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you're there joining us. I want to thank you for being here. And also, as I mentioned uh, before, I'd like to thank the new women that are here. I like to do that regularly because we have new people joining us all the time. And it's so great to know that we've got people in 150 countries. We are global. We're everywhere. And the only real condition for this community is that you're over 50, 60, and that you you are looking to live life to the fullest in those in that age. Um, it's one of those ages where there's a lot of focus on youth and um, there may be the opposite of ageism and kind of uh, discrimination against older people. But all I know is that we in our 60s are trying to live life fully. We are traveling, we are working, we are um, you know, sharing our knowledge with younger people. We are doing our best to make the most of the years that we have left, to stay healthy, you know, to and have fun. And I want to do something fun today because I'm, I'm just feeling like it should be a fun day. <laughs> but tea, I've got my tea in my hand here. Chi uh, it's Chinese jasmine, China jasmine. And it's a brand, um, Meridiani. I bought this in uh, Italy when I was there traveling. And it's really, really good. And I'm going to have a sip because it's so hot today. So one little sip of tea. Mm. Oh, that's really good. So, tea. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that our sponsor for today's show is International Living. Now, International Living is a company who uh, helps people to get information about retiring overseas. So if you've been thinking about perhaps moving to another part of the world to reduce costs or to just have a different culture, different lifestyle, um, they do amazing work on examining all the different aspects, healthcare, you know, cost of living, culture, things to do, just the real world situation. And they've actually got a very interesting article on five places in Europe that you might want to consider uh, retiring to. And if, so if you go up to um, internationalliving.com slash 60andMe, just give them your email, they'll send you an email. And in that email will be the link to uh, the report on five places to, um, to uh, retire abroad in Europe. And they include places like Porto and Aix-en-Provence and and uh, some places in uh, a place in Italy, Alicante in Spain. So they're, they're places that you might know, and they're actually quite affordable. So international living. Okay, topic today. Uh, topic today on a hot sunny day, I've got my brush here to keep me cool, <laughs> is, um, is about fashion and it's about white. The color white. Now I'm wearing very appropriately the color black because it's at the opposite side of the spectrum. And you may find yourself always reaching for black in the winter months. It's just a nice color. I like black. I always wear it. Um, and I accessorize it with color, of course. But it can be like white. Um, white can be worn like black, very monochrome. It can be worn as a top or as it can be accented with beautiful color. Um, and so it's one of those colors, I think, that, um, you know, that you should consider having at least some basics in your wardrobe in the summer. Now, Susan Belding is our blogger who wrote this article. And she's come up with six, what she calls six must-have white items in your wardrobe. And I don't have that many, but I've got a few that I'm going to share with you um, because I actually don't wear a lot of white. I had to go out and buy, and this is going to be me, too much information, but I had to go buy some white underwear because I have all black underwear. I had to go buy white so I could wear my white, um, I have capris, I have some white capris that I wear in the summer and I've got this one lonely pair of, of white underwear. But, um, so that's important that, that you, uh, that you, you know, buy what, what you're going to wear and, and what you love. And when you, and, and that's another thing about fashion in general. These are not rules. <laughs> These are just Susan's ideas and some of mine. First thing is when you get your white stuff out, be sure that it hasn't faded over the season or that you've washed it a lot. It's got a bit yellow or gray because white is white. It really has to be white. Uh, you can use a little bleach sometimes to sparkle it back up, but you might just have to buy another t-shirt uh, because white, white is what looks great. First thing is the simple t-shirt. Now I actually have several of them, but I thought, you know what a t-shirt looks like, right? Either a v-neck, if you wear, if you want to, if you've got a little ample bosom, it's like a nice shape from Susan mentions that, or you can wear a boat neck, you can wear a square neck. <laughs> There's all kinds of, t of uh, tops you can wear that are white. T-shirt, you can't go wrong. And if you want to wear uh, it under a blazer or layer it, it's perfect. You can tie it in a knot, she says, at the side or front. I think that's a cool look too. But uh, the shirt. The other is um, a white linen shirt. 
Okay, so don't go, oh no, linen. Linen has changed, it has evolved. It is not your mother's linen anymore. There is a washable linen, you can pop it in the washing machine, it comes out, you can hang it up and it's no ironing needed. And it feels really good. It feels, uh, is, I mean, I have a, another linen uh, shirt in a different color, so I didn't show you that, but you get what I mean. Um, I do actually, I, myself, have a top that I bought in Bali. It's not linen, but it's, well, it, it actually could be. Um, it's a really, really cool shirt. I can't really describe this to you, except to say that it's quite um, light. But when I put this on, it kind of doesn't lie flat, it kind of bunches. And it's really, really pretty to wear. And whenever I wear it, the air just blows through it and it's so, so pretty, very thin uh, material. But that's my kind of, my, my classic white shirt. Another thing that Susan talks about is lace. And she's right, I actually um, just purchased a top that I'm going to show you that in incorporates lace into the design. And by the way, these are not expensive uh, purchases. You can get these at uh, you know uh, little shops that sell young people's clothing because this is in, this is trendy on fashion. And what this is, um, is kind of, it shows up in the bodice of, of a top or along the edges or the sleeves. And it's just a little touch of lace. Now this lace is actually at the back of the top. So it's a really simple little loose top. This is the front of it. It's very simple, but the back is so pretty. I really, really love it. And um, that's the kind of thing that you're finding now. And um, this one, see, I love it. And this wasn't too expensive. I think it was $10. So you can have a hunt around for, for, linen, for um, lace tops that are just accents and they're very, very pretty and fun to wear. That's a nice one too. Um, another thing she mentions is the neckline of white. Um, don't hesitate, she says, to wear a, a, a boat neck. I mean, I like to wear them, but be careful that your, your straps don't show. Um, I actually do love this neckline shape. It's really fun and um, you can wear a nice necklace with it. It, it. it sort of highlights the necklace. And you can also, she mentions, wear a square one. But she said, again, be careful, I'll go back a bit. You know, be careful with a, with a square one because your, your bra straps will show. But anyway, that's a kind of uh, fun thinking about necklines in, with your white tops. Another one she mentions as a standard is a tank, a tank top. Okay, so we don't all have killer arms, right? And I, I avoid sleeveless, um, well, hmm, I shouldn't say because of my arms. I just don't like sleeveless tops. I never have worn a lot of them. I'm more of a three quarter length person. But if you've got, um, if you just wanna wear a tank top top, wear a white one, but it looks great with jeans or you can wear it with, um, you know, like a belt or a sash. And there's lots of things she says you can do. And that applies to another item she mentions, which is a tunic. So in addition to a tank, think about a tunic, which is one you wear with, uh, you know, black capris or pink capris, whatever you wear in the summer. And those are great too, as long as they go over your, your butt and they sort of give you a little bit of a shape. If you've got a bit of tummy, tunics are really cool. So a white tank and a white uh, tunic are another two items. And I was going to show you, I have some capris. I mean, not. I don't even know why I need to show them because you know what white capris look like. But isn't that a cool color for a pair of, of, of trousers? And with black, if I can just put it together, it's just really refreshing. And you can wear like a nice turquoise necklace or I've actually got my other necklaces here somewhere, my little colored, uh, multicolored ones that I absolutely love. And also, what other ones have I got here? Oh, this is a fun one. This is a, a fairly new one. It was a chunky one that you can wear with, with white too. So it's, it's one of those things, black, white, and purple, turquoise. They're really lovely together. So that's some ideas for white. And she says, don't underestimate the importance of white. It's very, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel refreshed, uh, you know, uh, cool on a hot day. And um, when you wear an outfit in white, it, you somehow feel stylish and you feel like you actually, um, you know, putting things together in a nice way. Yeah, you've got to be a little thoughtful about it. You'd, I wouldn't go uh, wearing it with your grandchildren going to the park, <laughs> uh, unless you really have a nice washing machine and you don't mind washing it, the dirt out. But anyway, you get the idea. White is fun. White is a fun color for clothing pretty much, I, I would say all year, honestly. What's stopping us? In, in the winter, winter white is nice too. And that actually was popular last year. Uh, kind of creamy white. but. Pure white, sparkling white. Try the tank, the tea, t-shirt, uh, all those things that I mentioned, capris, uh, lace tops, and uh, enjoy it. Enjoy your summer if you're in that 
part of the world right now um, and just embrace your own personal style, whether it's white or black or green or pink, whatever. This was just a little idea from Susan to inspire you to, to try white. Anyway, I hope that you're doing well, everybody. Have a fabulous day and tell us, what are your favorite summer white clothes? Do you have some favorite clothes that are white that you love to wear? Anyway, I do hope that you have a great day today. Go out and do something fun and wonderful for yourself. Wear white and uh, have, a, have a great day. And we'll talk again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.